I reckon we could all do with a bit of encouragement at the moment. We're in the middle of another lockdown and have no idea yet when it's going to ease off. And as I speak now, it's pouring with rain outside and everything seems a bit bleak. So now is a good time to encourage ourselves and others too. There's no better place to find encouragement than the book of Acts, where we find a guy called Barnabas. He was such an encouragement to others that he actually had his name changed to Son of Encouragement. We read this in Acts 4, 36 and 37. It says this, Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, sold a field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. And also let's read Acts 11 verses 19 to 24. It's called the church in Antioch. Now those who had been scattered by the persecution in connection with Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch, telling the message only to the Jews. Some of them, however, men from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch and began to speak to Greeks also, telling them the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's hand was with them, and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. News of this reached the ears of the church at Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the evidence of the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of people were brought to the Lord. Barnabas encouraged others by selling a field, and he gave the money to the, to the apostles to use to help those in need. I don't suppose many of us happen to have a field we could sell right now, but we too can be an encouragement to others, just as Barnabas was at that time. There are many people we can encourage. Two groups of people from church spring to my mind. One is the fundraising group who never cease to work hard, even in the difficulties that last year brought. They faithfully continued to raise money and bless local people with the Christmas fair, for example. The other group is those who faithfully organise the live stream and provide weekly church services for us all and ways of keeping in touch, such as the Friendship Cafe. We probably can all think of people we can encourage with a phone call or a text of thanks. Also, we can encourage those who are not having such a good time. We probably all know people who are perhaps sick or bereaved, anxious or even exhausted. Many parents of school children are feeling very tired and overworked at the moment. We could encourage these people with a phone call or an email. We can tell them that these difficulties will one day end. There is light at the end of the tunnel. In the meantime, we can tell them we're praying for them every day. Some who are unable to work and are struggling financially may be interested to hear of the group Acts 435. So at this time, let's all be like Barnabas. Let's be encouragers.